Okay, this is the head of the dog, sagittally sectioned for orientation. Here is the nasal cavity. Here is the cranial cavity. Here is the oral cavity. This is the tongue. Okay. We will start to speak about the nasal cavity. We can see the nasal septum here. This part is the nasal septum separating the two divisions of the nasal cavity. The nasal septum starts by membranous part in this area, which is soft. Then we have cartilaginous part and caudally in this region we have the osseous part of the nasal septum which is made by the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone so now we will remove the nasal septum again this is the most caudal part of the nasal septum this is bone this is the perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone more rostral, we have the cartilaginous part of the nasal septum. More rostral, we will have the membranous part. So now I am removing the nasal septum. When we remove the nasal septum, we will start to see the nasal conchi. And before we remove completely remove the nasal septum, I'd like to show you the this space between the nasal septum and the conchi. This space is called the common nasal meatus. All of this space is called the common nasal meatus between the nasal septum and the conchi. So now we are still removing the osseous part of the nasal sept. The nasal cavity itself is divided into three parts. The beginning of the nasal cavity is called the nasal vestibule. So when we leave the nostril, this is the nostril, and we go into the nasal cavity, this most rostral part is the nasal vestibule. This nasal vestibule, we can locate the straight fold, and this is the alar fold. The alar fold is continuation of the ventral nasal concha. The straight fold is continuation of the dorsal nasal concha so this is the dorsal nasal concha which will continue as straight fold this is the ventral nasal concha which will continue as alar fold and caudally here we have the ethmoidal conchi these are ethmoidal conchi all of this region is the ethmoidal conchi. Between the uh, roof of the nasal cavity and the dorsal nasal concha, we have this dorsal nasal meatus. Between the dorsal nasal concha and the ventral nasal concha, we have the middle nasal meatus. And ventral to the ventral nasal concha, here in this region, we have the ventral nasal meatus. And again, medial to the uh, or lateral to the nasal septum we will have the common nasal mates this for the nasal cavity the nasal cavity again starts from the nostril and enters into the nasal vestibule and this is the nasal cavity proper where the 
dorsal nasal concha and the ventral nasal concha are located and the third part of the nasal cavity is the nasal fundus where the ethmoidal conchae are located. This is for olfaction. The nasal cavity proper is for uh, respiration mostly and the nasal uh, vestibule is the entrance. Okay, vestibule, nasal cavity proper and nasal fundus. Then we uh, we have also here, but we can't demonstrate, the vomeronasal organ is located here on either side of the nasal uh, septum. The vomeronasal organ is located in this uh, region. So, here on either side of the nasal septum, we will have the opening which lead to the uh, nasopharynx. Where is the nasopharynx is located? Since this is the heart palate, we can expose the heart palate and identify it by the presence of this uh, rugi palatine or palatine ridges. These ridges are uh, forming parts of the heart palate. Then after the bone ends, these uh, palatine bones, we will have this soft structure. This is the soft palate. The soft palate demarcates the end of the nasal cavity and the end of the oral cavity and the start of the nasopharynx dorsal to it and oropharynx ventral to it. Okay, this is the soft palate. Notice the soft palate here sends, sends uh, a fold, this fold between the soft palate and the root of the tongue. This fold. This is called palatoglossal fold. Palatoglossal fold or anterior pillar. And there are two palatoglossal folds because the soft palate also will send another fold here to the uh, on the other side of the tongue so they will make an arch called palatoglossal arch this arch has an opening this is the, called the isthmus fossium where the demarcation between the oral cavity and the oropharynx okay the boundaries of the isthmus fossium are the soft palate dorsally the root of the tongue ventrally and the palatoglossal fold laterally okay Again, here is the soft palate. The continuation of the soft palate, we, this bone was connected like this. This is the hamlus of the trigoid bone. We, we, we cut it to show the nasopharynx, dorsal to the soft palate. This is the soft palate. And here, dorsal to it, we are in the nose, nasopharynx. And we can see clearly this opening. This is the opening of the auditory tube. This is the pharyngeal opening of the ostician tube. This leads to the ostician tube to the middle ear. Okay? Pharyngeal opening of auditory tube. Nasopharynx. The continuation of the soft palate, which is this part, all of this part is the continuation of the soft palate, as you can see. Notice here how the soft palate ends by this structure, which makes like a, a ring, this part. And this actually is the palato, because this is a soft palate, and it is attached to the uh, medial wall of the pharynx. This is called palatopharyngeal fold. Palatopharyngeal fold. And this opening, this opening made by the soft palate, which uh, connects the uh, nasopharynx with the oropharynx, this is called intrapharyngeal opening. Intrapharyngeal opening. Be, before we leave the oropharynx, I want to show you again. We mentioned that this is the connection. It's called palatoglossal fold. Just to to the palatoglossal fold, we have this palatine tonsil. We can't see the palatine tonsil. Why? Because it is hidden here in this uh, crypt. Here is the palatine tonsil. Now we can see it, this one. And it is covered by this fold, which is semilunar fold or plica semilunaris. So the plica semilunaris normally covers the palatine tonsil, but if it gets uh, enlarged, the palatine tonsil uh, enlarged, it will appear outside this tonsillar crypt. Okay, this is the palatine tonsil uh, located in the uh, its location and covered by the semilunar fold. Where it is located? It is located just to codal to the palato 
glossal fold. Okay, now we, this is the wall of the pharynx, the external wall of the pharynx. And again, here is a soft palate. And this pharynx, we will uh, open to see the uh, third part of the pharynx, which is called the laryngeal pharynx. The soft palate, again, divide the nasopharynx from the oropharynx. And the more caudal part here, let us start to cut. We cut now the soft palate and specifically the palatopharyngeal fold or posterior pillar. So now we opened the palatopharyngeal fold, we cut it, and we can see clearly this area cranial to the larynx, this is the larynx, this is the laryngeopharynx. So this area, uh, cranial to the larynx and dorsal to the larynx. This is the laryngeal pharynx, which is the third compartment of the pharynx. So the pharynx, the three parts, nasopharynx, oropharynx, and the caudal part is the laryngeal pharynx. In this laryngeal uh, pharynx, you can see this is the area where the decision point. Are we going to the esophagus? This is the esophagus dorsal to the larynx or we will go to the epiglottis and to the uh, larynx. If it is food, it's supposed to go to the uh, esophagus and if it is air, it will enter through the aditus laryngeus or the laryngeal cavity. Uh, again, let us see the structure of the uh, larynx. We have the epiglottis. This is the epiglottic cartilage. It is pointed. This is the apex of the epiglottis. And it has two surfaces. This is the lingual surface. And this is the laryngeal surface of the epiglottis. And do notice this uh, surface is connected to the uh, tongue by this fold, which is called glossoepiglottic fold. Glossoepiglottic fold. If we cut this glossoepiglottic fold, we should find epiglotticus muscle because it is attached to the hyoid bone to the base of the hyoid bone this is the epiglotticus muscle from base to base from the base of the epiglottis to the base of the hyoid bone and its action is to pull and draw the larynx rostrally and it is important in uh, the horse 